Working with Cabinet Solution software is very easy to do because it follows the same basic steps you would if you work if you did the work by hand. There are four main stages you will go through to pr produce your work, moving from the general the more general information to the more specific details. Each stage is performed in a different screen and I'm going to walk you through them now. What we're looking at right now is the startup screen. Before doing any kind of work in your shop, you have had to decide how you are going to construct the cabinets and what kind of woods the customer wants. In this first screen, you will enter information about your shop and uh, and about the job you are doing. You will then specify in your standards here uh, about how this job will be built before you proceed to the next screen. Standards are the specifications for the way you construct your cabinets and it includes some of the information in, uh, included here would be material types like if I go here to cabinet materials I can change the material for the different parts of the cabinet. Right now I'm in face frame but the program works equally well in frameless. Another, uh, I can also edit the material list to add and remove materials. If I go back to the main st standard screen I can also uh, go to material thickness where I can specify the thicknesses of different cabinet parts. Right now I'm in inches but the program works in both inch and metric. I'm just going to apply my current standards and to proceed to the draw wall screen I'm going to click on draw walls. The next step is to begin designing or laying out the cabinets for the job. The first step in that process is to define the walls that make up the room in which we'll be placing the cabinets. In this screen, which is the draw walls screen, you will take the wall information you have gotten from your field measurements and put them in your computer. I have just come up with a sample room to use for this demonstration and I will draw that. So to, to draw a wall you just click anywhere on the grid and while holding your mouse button down with the left mouse button choose a direction. When you let go of the mouse a dialog box comes up where you can accept the length you've drawn or key in a specific length which I'm using 144 inches. To draw a connecting wall you just get close to the end of an existing wall or, or a different part of it. You can draw from, uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily from the end but I'm drawing a connecting wall from the top of this wall. I'm just going to click close to the existing wall, choose a direction and again put in a length like I did the first time. This screen lets you draw the walls of each room in your job and insert any windows, doors, or obstructions for uh, which would be wall switches, outlets, plumbing, pipes, etc. that you want displayed in your output. Cabinet Solutions allows you to draw as many rooms as each job requires and as many walls as you need for each room. When I'm ready to add obstructions such as windows, doors, <clears throat> and so on, I will click on edit wall, then I will select the wall, I will hover over the wall that I want to uh, edit, it turns blue, and when I left click I can change the height, length, or place a window doorway or, or an obstruction. I will now finish here and click place cabinets to proceed to the place cabinet screen. The place cabinet screen is the third of four screens that I'm showing you today and the function of this screen is to do your basic cabinet layout in each of the different rooms you have drawn. This screen will quickly begin to look familiar as you place cabinets because it will look like an architect's floor plan. To place a cabinet, click on the cabinet icon representing the cabinet or appliance you want to place. In this case I'm doing a 90 degree corner cabinet. L well, you might call it an L-shaped corner like they do in the software. At this point I can go with the default dimensions. I can change them. I'll just go with the defaults. Now I'm going to place uh, in the upper I'm going to do a blind corner. Those are available as well. So I'll select the blind corner cabinet first. Place it. 
then I'll place the adjacent cabinet. If I overlap my new cabinet with the blind over the blind corner, the smart placer feature automatically corrects it. So each of these icons represents a type of cabinet that you can place in cabinet solutions. They are standard templates that you will learn to customize to make virtually any cabinet you want. If I hover over a cabinet on my floor plan, it shows the information about that cabinet in the top right corner of the software. I will now quickly fill the remaining space with cabinetry. I placed a large cabinet. I'm going to copy it to place to fill the uh, adjacent space. Same with the upper here. Now I'm going to click on the one of the large bases and use Smart Fill to break it up into four pieces. Same with the other base. And the uppers I'll break into three. I will now click on the Edit Elevations button to proceed to the last screen, which is the ele Edit Elevations screen. The last major, major screen. So, in this final work screen, you can view your wall elevations or edit or customize any of the cabinets you have placed. Through this screen, you can also view the cut list for each cabinet on screen before you send it to print. To control the view of the wall, use the controls in the toolbox at the right. I can turn display doors on or off. When I turn it off, I get a mechanical drawing. I can also turn countertops on or off. I can click flip to see the other side of the wall. And the zoom in and zoom out are self-explanatory. To customize a cabinet, Move the mouse until the cabinet you want is highlighted. So uh, to give you a good example of the, the, uh, what the customized cabinet view is, can do, I'm going to build a combined version of cabinets 9 and 10 instead of two separate boxes. So I'm going to go back to my place cabinets and I will delete <coughs> cabinet 9 and I will take cabinet uh, 10 here and uh, make it big enough to fill the space of itself and 9 and I'll go back to the elevation by clicking on the cabinet and then going click on go to elevations from the go to elevations I'm going to click on the cabinet this takes me to where I can customize the cabinet and I'm going to click on center style I can choose whether or not to place a partition behind the style. For now I'll just do without, continue. Each time I click on an opening it's going to split it with a center style. And if I go back to the uh, elevation, I've got a huge uh, combined custom cabinet for 10 instead of uh, separate cabinets for uh, like I do for the rest of the base cabinets. In addition to adding parts like I did with the center style, the customized cabinet view also lets you delete parts. If I go to view delete boards, I can hover over a particular part and if I click on it, the program will ask me if I want to delete that part. I can do a lot more customization than I uh, then you probably want to see in this particular video but uh, say I wanted to resize the openings I'll click on openings and rollouts I'll click on uh, an opening say opening one and I can change the width to 
to whatever I want. I can edit the number of shelves in an opening. I can, uh, which would be right here under shelves. Click opening two. I can change the number of fixed or adjustable shelves. You can position them exactly where you want. I can modify the end panel of a cabinet under left or right end plantons in order to have an applied door panel as a finished end, for example. You can change the standards for a particular cabinet and then save your changes into a custom cabinet file that you can use in future jobs. Once you have completed your work in these four steps, you can view the rooms in 3D from any perspective. You can use the job costing tool to produce an, produce an estimate for your job. You can print your work in many different reports including cut lists, assembly lists, assembly sheets, wall elevations, the 3D room views, and more. Cabinet Solutions will even print out a way for a way to cut your sheet goods by optimizing them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, send an email to support at customcabinetsoftware.com or call 574-968-8142. Thank you.